up, guys? So, I was uh, making my, uh, I was going back over my YouTube videos I previously uploaded uh, to add uh, the music information. You go check all that out. Uh, to every music I put into my video so I don't get copyright. And I found one of your comments. Uh, he's actually really cool. Uh, <laughs> sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but it's Ted Kit. Ted Kit. I don't know. I, I would shout him out. Uh, like really badly if I went. Uh, so I think he stated it on this right here. This was really helpful because I didn't know what to upload besides my HTML series. Which, guys, it should come out like uh, maybe like maybe tomorrow. But it's the first video, and uh, so the one I saw that I'm gonna do since I already covered this one. Uh, we see how to make a loading screen with music. So shout out to Tech Tick. He's done a lot of stuff I've done, and he's actually he's really he's doing good, like really good. Uh, so yeah, he's done a couple stuff. So yeah, oh look at that view of counting. Just just look at it. All right, but please go subscribe to him. He's awesome. So he actually gave me a video, and I might do the Star Wars RP thing. I don't know. We'll have to see. So, let's get in how to do this. So, first off, we're going to pull up uh, the website. Um, they're not Code Academy. We're going to pull up uh, the website. What was it called? Uh, come on. Pop into my head. Okay. So, it takes you to the coding bees. I think it's the coding bees that come. Link in the description below for that if you if you're like me and don't feel like doing that. Now if you clicked on it from there, it should take you to should take you Alright, so I had to log in through my Steam. Don't worry guys, it's nothing bad. Uh, apparently, you have to do that to get here. Alright, yeah, so I cut that out, obviously. I have to. But it's going to take you to something that's going to look like this. We have, like, this layout. And if we preview the element, it'll be something different. It'll say, like, all this different stuff, but I've already done this. But it says a bunch of different stuff and starts playing music. Defaultly, it'll be Intro My Panda. Now, we can change this by going to modify element and the title could be this is a intro and yes I want it if you make it public if I'm correct it would go up here so everyone would see it in this case I'll just leave it yes because I don't know if I'm right now we have different layouts we have a bare bone layout now if we check that out and then we preview. This is the bare bone. This is this is weird. Um. Yeah. But I think you should stick with default layout. Uh, there's rounded glass and there's clean dark as the theme. Uh, if you want to look like mine, you just do rounded glass. But this is clean dark. Hey, it actually looks pretty good. I might get that one. But, um, yeah. It's actually really simple. So, you know, just mess around with all this stuff and see what it looks like, if you know what I mean. Uh, you can change the music to Intro Panda or None, which is recommended. Which, in this case, I'm just going to do Intro Panda. You could have no music, but that's all you can do. Uh, the language pack, there's English, there's Danish, there's Dutch, I'm English. The icon pack is, you mess around with that. Simple rules, yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and put this all back to normal. Okay, so always. And if you just do all the defaults except the title, 
Yours will just come out like this. Well, it'll, it would come out differently, but I don't want to keep this, you know what I mean? But if you did all the normal ones, it would look something like this, which I'm keeping this one. See, I like this one better. All right, so now what you do, is you go to element, I think it's element code, is it element code? And as you can see, we have a uh, code. We're gonna go ahead and copy this right here. So control C, or you can just right click and do copy. And then you want to go to your Gmod server file, so go to where you put it. Mine's in local to C and then Gmod. You're just going to go to Gary's Mod. You go to CFG. And we're going to go to server.cfg. Just edit with Notepad++. And originally, there should be nothing in here. You just take it and paste it into there like that. And save it, and then you'll go back into Gary's Mod uh, and join the server, and you will indeed have it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Smash that like button if we can get. To th <laughs> no, this is sad to say. Three likes. Next video, I'll play Jacob Sartori's "Hit or Miss" in the background. Why am I doing this? But whatever, I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.